Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com. And today we have the Glen Moray port cask finish here on my cask. It's 40% ABV and it costs, well, a little bit above 20 euros, dollars, pounds, wherever you live. Glen Moray is a distillery in the space side and dated back into the 19th century. And they are very famous for their wine cask maturations. I think they were one of the very first distilleries starting with wine cask maturation. And this one is a port wine cask. Finish means that they are maturing the whiskey for the first years in ex-bourbon barrels, typically reused. And then they push up the taste by maturing a little bit longer in port wine casks. And this gives the, the fruity aroma of port wine in addition to the typical, well, Speyside malty hawk's head cask maturation. Yeah, well, um, that's everything. Guess uh, I have to open the bottle first to find out if all those theories really happens. And yeah, this is very well done. This is one of the cheaper bottles. Mm -hmm. And in nowadays, uh, distilleries tend uh, to increase their prices for whiskies, even uh, if they're no age, as this one. That means they have no particular age on the bottle, means they are three years and a day old, probably longer. Uh, how the well the, the whiskey needs to mature longer. If you add a finishing to a whiskey, then the well the maturation does not have to be that long. Uh, it's a double maturation. One is getting rid of the unwanted uh, aromas in the whiskey. It's called subtractive maturation, and the other is adding uh, aromas from the cask means uh, additional maturation and this together leads to the real maturation of a whiskey. So if you keep one side short and the other one long, well, might lead to uh, a well-matured whiskey, the same as otherwise uh, keeping the first one long and the second one short. Yeah. So I'll have a look at it. Very, very typical space side. A lot of maltiness and a big, big hardwood aroma. I like that port wood very, very much. Well, that's my individual taste. I like port wine. And last year I had been at Portugal or in Portugal seeing all those, well, wine yards at the River Douro very well. So we have on one side the vanilla from the oak, from the first oak where this whiskey matured in. On the other hand, this dried fruits, leather, berries. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. It's only 40%, so in the start it's a little bit weak, but then Spiciness builds up from the oak. Yeah. Even if you have refilled casks used uh, from ex bourbon cask maturation, uh, the aromas will add up over some period of time and uh, with a cask for the finishing. And if the finishing cask is quite fresh, then you will get uh, the oaky, the spicy oaky aromas from the wood as well. Yeah little citrus note coming through. That's the distillery character typically of a Speyside whiskey. Caramel, cinnamon and a faint distant note of chocolate. So this is smooth, elegant, but shows some maturation, some spiciness from oakiness. So this is well done and for the price it's a real bargain. Uh, it could be a little bit more intense, might have a little bit more of ABV, and and then, but it's really 
not expensive. It's really cheap. It's just over 20 euros here in Central Europe. Yeah, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.